Over 45 million Americans experience headaches every year. Occasional headaches are usually harmless, but when should you seek medical attention for a headache? Neurosurgeon Dr. Javed Siddiqui outlines the types of headaches and symptoms which should alert you to get medical attention. There's many different causes of headache, and, and for neurologists, neurosurgeons, headache is the first of the top three uh, symptoms that patients present with to neurologists and neurosurgeons. The top three are headache, backache, seizure. So a generalized headache all over the head, so to speak, is more benign, let's say, than a very focal headache. Now, not all generalized headaches are benign, but in, you know, in generality, speaking in generalities, if you have a global headache versus a focal headache, you need to worry more about the focal headache. Majority of headaches are tension headaches, then there's a certain percentage that are migraines or cluster headaches. There are different variations of migraine headaches that can happen to different uh, genders, different age groups, different types of, of patients. And of course, the ones that I as a neurosurgeon most worry about are uh, the headaches that imply something underlying, whether it's a brain tumor, uh, a, a cerebral infection, meningitis. Monitoring your headache history can help you and your doctor find clues to your condition. Anybody who has headaches, especially if there are new onset headaches that they've not had before, and they traditionally do not have headaches, should keep a diary for, for a certain period of time. You know, is it happening in the morning? You wake up with a headache. Do you, is it associated with nausea and vomiting? Is it, is it focal versus global? Is it uh, associated with visual symptoms? blurry vision, double vision, and so on. Headaches associated with focality and headaches associated with nausea and vomiting in the absence of a history of migraines need further investigation, usually with the brain imaging. A sudden severe headache may be an emergency situation. When a patient says, this is the worst headache of my life, came on suddenly, possibly associated with nausea, vomiting, sometimes associated with double vision, that is a condition that, that needs emergent attention. Because the main thing we want to rule out is a life-threatening condition called a ruptured aneurysm. And the biggest risk of a ruptured aneurysm, if you're still alive, uh, is to have a re-rupture, which has very high uh, mortality rate. So any, anybody that has a sudden severe headache, worst of their life, is, that's how they would describe it, needs to get immediately to the emergency room and get it assessed. Dr. Siddiqui talks about headaches and brain tumors. Sadly, the most common brain tumor in adults is called a glioblastoma multiforme, the, or GBM. That is a tumor that's intrinsic or within the substance of the brain, and it infiltrates, spreads by infiltration of, of the adjacent brain. It is the most common uh, brain tumor in adults, and it's malignant, uh, highly malignant cancer. So for those ones, sometimes we only end up doing a biopsy because of the low, depending on the location of the lesion. Other times we try to do a, as complete a resection as possible because the more you resect, the better the prognosis. But because of its infiltrative nature, it can sometimes spread into areas that we cannot go there. For example, the speech area of the brain or the motor cortex or the visual cortex. So uh, tumors are very diverse and very different. Obviously, we prefer the ones that are on the outside of the brain pushing into the brain versus the ones growing in the brain and spreading outward uh, because the outside ones, you know, tend to be slower growing and have a, generally speaking, a better prognosis. No headache should be ignored, especially if there's a pattern. You know, if it's a once, once a year headache, maybe you can say, you know, it's not a big deal, but if there's a pattern, uh, it should not be ignored.